Welcome back, guys. So I guess I'm going to do an actual talk about with the Wyvern S4. Uh, the vacuum cleaner airplane, because the engines are just atrociously loud, and if you're in ground battle, you can hear from like two miles away, just... It's a turboprop. The main gripe with a lot of people is it sits at 4.0. If you're on deck, that means going in a straight line, not gaining or losing altitude, you'll reach speeds, I think it's without your bomb load, 600-something? Yeah. For the most part, it can outrun most things at this bow rating. If somebody's diving on you and their wings can handle it, they're going to get you. Let's see what we got for our secondary weapons. Uh, we've got three 1,000-pounders. Take out an ARB battle. And uh, it's really, we're just going to hit a base, turn around, maybe get a kill. That's what we're going to do with it. Generally, you'll have four of these on a team. So I'm going to try to get to a base. I've been trying to make uh, a couple bomber videos. It's not been a good day for bombers, and that's where I like to go to relax after a long day because I can just kind of turn off my brain. Uh, my favorite bomber is the BV-238 just for simplicity, and it's got a bunch of guns. You know, what more can you say? Uh, when I finally figure out this editing software, I'm going to be skipping a lot of this boring stuff right here. That way you guys can get into the thick of the action. We do get an air spawn, if I remember correctly, with this. And... Uh, now I'm just going to go in, chunk all three bombs, and go, uh, you don't get any bomb sights. We're going to set this for two seconds, because we need to get away from the base. Ground targets. We're going to find a base, point our nose at it, and hopefully we'll get it before the other guys. So there's normally a lot of them. This is actually a great way to kind of grind the early uh, air tech tree for Britain. Because it is kind of broken in that space. Yep, we got another one with us. There's one, two, so there's three of us. No, just two of us. You know what? Let's see if we can get to this one before that other guy does. He's going to take the far right one, we'll take this one right here. And look at our speed. I mean, we're pushing almost 600 right now. We're losing a little bit of altitude. We really don't need to burn that much altitude. I'm going to do a little bit of a game. Really boring gameplay, as far as that's considered. It has these cool exhausts here on the side. We're going to go in, point our nose down, drop off our bombs, and hopefully turn around before the enemy gets to us. If there's somebody here, we're going to go into dogfight mode. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, the maneuverability is almost not there. It's not. You do get air brakes though, which is kind of cool for something around this, uh. This BR, you know? I think there's. Well, there's a couple other bombers to get it too, so I can't really say that. Uh, we don't have whip, but we do go up to 110%. We leave about 100 right now. Let our engines cool off just a little bit. Pushing almost 600. We're gonna get there before the enemy does, or gets there to us. What do we have down here? I mean, I could go over there and strafe them with all these cannon rounds that I have, because, yes, that is 1,200 rounds cannon ammo. So that's, what, 300 rounds per gun, because you have four guns? Yeah, not bad. Our buddy's going to hit that side, I think. Or is he going for ground targets? No, he's going for the base. We're going to hit it, turn around, try to make it back to the base and reload, because that's what you'll be doing in this thing. That's what I want to showcase. No, he did he actually go over there and hit a ground target? I'll go take that other base later, then. Uh, aiming. Kind of, sort of, think it should be right here. And we're not going to go straight up. We want to keep our speed, so we're going to turn to the side. Tell our team what we're doing. Try to pick off a few of these ground targets on the way back just for some extra SL. So before the first shots fired from the enemy, we dropped off a ton of bombs. Three 1,000 pounders. Swinging back to home base. Our buddy over here is knocking out ground targets, which is cool. Doing quite a good job of it. We're going to come in here and help him clean up a few of these. 
And we're just gonna get ourselves some more points. I mean, generally... That's what we're here for. We're gonna make points and silver lines, and if you're grinding, RP. Hmm, took a few more shots than I thought. So, puts us at what? 965 score? Lost a little bit of speed there, didn't want to do that. Uh-oh. I think we got up to 154, that's a 5.0 if I remember correctly. That's alright. Why is there a red... Y'all saw that, right? There's a red uh, artillery marker over there? I apologize if you hear anything in the background. It's a uh, family running around having a good time. Oh, there's one of my favorites. I wonder if that's the old one or the new one. I'll have to do a video on this. The P-47 might do that one more tonight. Was one of mine, if it's still not the most played vehicle I have, the German P-47. So, early on in the match, we've already gained a ton of points. You know, this is actually a smaller game. What is that? Wow, three XP-50s. <laughs> Generally, I don't see that many in a match. I don't. Other people say they see just swarms of them, so. Oh, there's a BV-238. That's what I love to play right there. Just the biggest, I think it's the largest aircraft in War Thunder. Great fun you can have with the two. And he's going for pillboxes, it looks like. That's kind of odd. But hey, you know. He's enjoying the game his way. Oh yeah, I get to show off the uh, the air brakes. Now, I will say this, when you're coming in for a landing, and you're slow enough, go ahead and cut your engine. Because even at idle, it will pull your plane forward. That's how they have it coded in the game. Not sure why. Here's our air brakes. Go ahead and kill our engines. Dropped our throttle. Oops. I may have dropped my throttle just a little bit too much there. Give us 28 percent. Sitting here telling you guys to turn off the throttle. Get a little bit closer before you drop the throttle like I did. Gears down. Okay, now we can do it. Put my gears down. It's a little bit heavy, so it's kind of going down fast. But there we go. And then you can just spray your cannon ammo, and that does slow you down. And now we reload. And repair. Probably when I was landing, it hit something. But yeah, air brakes at 4.0, that's nasty. And if you're playing ground RB and you go nose down, cut your throttle back, drop your air brakes, and give yourself some time to line up some shots with the cannons. And at 4.0, ground battle, you can do some nasty things with these cannons. Like, some absurd stuff. Yeah, they're gonna nerf the HVAP on all the German vehicles, but uh, leave things like this untouched. My own personal gripe. Gets off the ground relatively quickly with some thousand pound bombs on it. We got 200 already. And since there's only two guys left, we're just going to try to sneak a base and start hitting ground targets. Like, I really didn't want to showcase this thing dogfighting because it doesn't dogfight very well. It's just here to farm SL and RP if you need it. Oh, XP-50 got knocked out by the 238. It's hilarious. We're going to hit this one here. And then we're going to swing back to the right and clean up ground targets. Because I think we can bleed off enough their points to uh, call it a day there. What is left? So they got the bomber. What else is still out there? Ah, well. Get her nose down a little bit. Let's gain a little bit more speed. Is there somebody above us? See the AA going on. There might be. Might get dove on here in a minute by the TA-154 if he's still alive. Nope, it's a P-47. Wow. He survived that long in a match with XP-50s. No, no, he's going down in flames now. Poor guy, they fly like a bucket. But it's a ton of fun. Mmm, 16 kilometers. You know what? Which direction is he headed? Let's, uh... Let's do it. There's only two of us left. We either win or lose this match. The P-47 will die. 
That is a guarantee. Go ahead and push our throttle up a bit more. Alright, XP50's probably burned all his ammo. He's probably going back to base now. So it's up to us. Uh, the 238's kind of coming in at an angle. We want to go from the front or the bottom. The front, he's not... He still has teeth. He still has stuff he can kill us with. Come from underneath him, which we won't be able to do because he's so low. And I hit him in the belly. But this will be a kamikaze attack. We're going to do what we can. If he turns his butt towards us, we'll turn away. We're not going to play his game. He's going to play ours. We do have a decent vantage point. He should only be able to get one nose mount cannon on me and the 50 cal that sits on top. If I come from this angle right here. Alright, ladies and gents, this is do or die. He's going to turn into me because he wants to get that nose gun on me. He's going super slow. Drop our bombs off. We don't need them anymore. Yep. Saw that coming. Couple of rounds into him, and he's dead. Poor guy. And that's the end of the match. So we did end up getting a kill. Yeah. 1632 for points. Probably got to get more SL for bombing another base, but hey. You got to see us kill a bomber, and I killed him from relatively far away. That was like, what, 1.6 kilometers and fired those shots off? So, doesn't have a lot of tracer rounds in it. But hey, there's the wiring for you. Can you kill stuff with it? Yes. You're better off just bombing base and running back. So for killing a base, we got away with 32,000 silver lines. That's a premium count and 12.1k research. Not bad, not terrible. I mean, technically, if I was to just run this thing nonstop, I could get this Hunter F6 unlocked. We'll say 10 games if they all turned out that well. If that's something you want to do, go for it. I'm really not too interested in grinding out the rest of the British tree. But there you have it, guys. Fun little plane. It is insane, GRB. I will eventually be getting some footage of my British GRB. I just have not been doing well in it. Like... Two deaths and uh, out of the match kind of well. Because generally I run it in a 4.7 lineup. Because I have almost nothing for their ground forces. Yeah, see. And if you want to run it in a 4.0 setup, there's not much. 3.3, 3.3, that'll be the highest tanks you could take. 4.3, 3.7 there, yeah. So technically you'd be between 4.0 and 5.0 in your BR rating with tanks lower than that. If you can make it work, yeah, make it work. It's a fun little plane. I would say definitely wait for a sale to pick it up. And if you're really looking to grind the uh, British share tree, I'd say pick it up. You do have some boring gameplay, like you saw. You could spend most matches diving for a base. If there's three or four of you guys, you could be fighting over bases. You can clean up ground targets with it relatively well. If you can get shots on an enemy aircraft, do it. But if they get behind you, you're dead. Go ahead and say that right now. It does not turn fight. It goes fast. So... Fun playing, guys. Until uh, next time, I guess. Like I said, I'm probably not putting any videos out tomorrow. Maybe even, probably going to be Sunday because of work. But, like I said, I hope to get some more content out for you guys. Just trying to make things work. And uh, see you next time.